This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an, I'm an entertainer. I'm relaxing, you know, just uh, chilling like a villain on my recliner. The one and only ape father. Wow! See, apes, man, they don't understand nothing I say. They just don't get it, man, you know? I, I just had all these apes uh, send me comments saying, how could you respect Teddy Zane, who sweet trades, who uh, it's they, they they assume he's short at AMC. I don't know if that's true. But now he's sold out of AMC. And they're saying, you don't respect Lou. I call him Uncle Festa. You know, who uh, stays with AMC, who's loyal to AMC. <laughs> oh, man. You know what it's like? You guys and girls, you just don't understand that Lou is a con man. You just don't understand this. And it's, I, my heart, I kind of feel sorry for all of you. I really do. But I feel sorry more for myself because I fell for it. You understand? And like I told you guys, eight months ago, I listened to Lou and he was so sincere. He was like, I loved Lou. You know, I loved the message that he was bringing across. He was like, Does your family have cancer? Are you struggling? Do, do you need help? Do you need money to pay those medical bills? Come into AMC. This is a play that will change your life. And like, the way, I have to tell you, he touched me. Like the way that he was speaking, he really, really touched me. And I jumped in with my life savings. I bought high. I bought a 53. Okay. Now you see the Lou of today and the Lou of the last couple of months. My God, I mean, he's a con man. And I didn't realize it. I, I, did, I fell for it. I like, you know, like we talk about clickbait. I took the bait. I was like that little fish swimming in the ocean. You know, you got that big uh, worm on there. And I'm like, mm, that looks delicious. You know, I took the bait. See, unfortunately now, I know Lou for who he truly is, okay? Lou is a guy who is just what's called a master hustler. He's a master, okay? He's like at the highest level you could get. And what he does is the first thing he does, he looks for a mark. When you're a master hustler, the first thing you do is you got to find the mark, okay? So he found AMC. It was trending very big. Everybody was talking about it. You understand? It was like the most talked about stock, honestly, on YouTube, everywhere, okay? So that's what the hustler does. He finds something that's, you know, profitable, that could be something that could be very uh, lucrative, okay? So he sees AMC, everybody's talking about it. He jumps in, starts a YouTube channel, Lou versus Wall Street. Okay, now, <clears throat> did he mention other stocks along the way? Yes. But you have to admit, AMC is like 90% of his content. And I don't even think he wants it to be 90% of his content. He hates AMC. He wants this thing over so bad. Like, I, like I'm like i thinking about going out and getting a porterhouse steak, you know. I'm like, I'm, I'm already thinking about how delicious it's going to taste. That's how much Lou wants out of this play. He wants this to end more than you could imagine. You know, a couple of times in the past, he tried to end it. Remember like a long time ago, he goes, I don't want to talk about AMC no more. Listen, I feel like I'm repeating the same thing over and over again. I'm going to start Lou TV. I don't even think I want to talk about the stock market. See, what I think was Lou really wanted to convert into crypto. That's what he wanted. He wanted out of this. But what happened was nobody, none of his followers were going for it. They were like, Lou, no, you got to stay with AMC, man. I want to hear AMC from Lou. So Lou was like, damn, man, I'm shit out of luck. He knew it. He knew that if he kept going in that direction, he was going to lose subscription. Lou makes thirty to $40,000 a month on YouTube. So he's not going to risk that. You know what I mean? He's not going to risk making all that money that he makes. So what did he do? He stuck with AMC. But it is of my opinion that Lou, Uncle Festa, does not own one single share of AMC. I once offered the guy $5,000, okay, and he turned it down just to show me if he owned one single share. OK, he doesn't own any AMC. That's it. He's doing this because he's a hustler. Don't you understand? He's a hustler. Now, I am different. I actually invested my life savings at AMC, $185,500. I bought 3,500 shares at $53 a share. So do you see there's a big difference between me and between Lou, <laughs> okay, who just came into this like a shock. He came into the shock smelling blood. He smelled blood in the water. He went to where the blood was, and then he got his prey. And unfortunately, the prey, in the case of Lou and Uncle Festa, are the AMC apes. He uses this, this very, very convincing message. 
I don't ask you for money. I don't ask you for money. And he tries to kind of like point to me. Like anybody who starts like a GoFundMe page, forget about it. You can't trust people like that. See, what he doesn't understand, first of all, the GoFundMe page I started was to help apes. I donated over $3,000 to help apes. You understand? I also printed out 100 t-shirts and paid for that. That was another $2,500 to mail out 100 t-shirts. 5,500. The GoFundMe page only raised 4,300. And here's the best part. Are you ready? Because all everybody was complaining to GoFundMe. Long story short, GoFundMe contacted me. They said, you are not allowed to be a third party distributor, meaning I can't um, take the money that I'm raising from the GoFundMe page and start sending it to multiple, multiple people. They shut my GoFundMe uh, page down and refunded all the apes. So ultimately, I advanced all of that money, came out of my own pocket, all right? But here's a guy like Lou who's trying to make me look like the bad guy, okay? I at least donated, but that was my own money. I donated <laughs> just that $5,500. That was my money. And that's only a small portion, do you know how many times you could ask my wife? I'm sitting down. I'm at Outbacks. I'm eating two porterhouse steaks. I get a call from this guy, Marco. Hey, father, that looks so good. I'm starving. Please. I'm, I have no food. I have nothing. I sent the $300. Veronica Rosario, I can't feed my children. I'm struggling. Sent the $300. See, Diddy, God bless him. He's a good man. Okay, hey, father, no, seriously, from my heart, he's a good man. He really touched me. You know, my house burnt down. My wife's pregnant. You know, my mother just passed away. Can you please help us? $300. Okay. John, Johnny out in Detroit. You know, I'm sleeping in my car. I can't afford a hotel. $300. I could go on and on and on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I love my ape family. When did, now, now here's a guy like Lou who's making what? Thirty, forty thousand a month. Has he ever donated money to apes? He keeps saying, I love you. I love my ape family. Has he ever donated anything? I don't think so. I don't think he ever donated. Might tell me if I'm wrong. Has he ever donated anything to apes? Okay. He's making mucho dinero. He's making 40000 a month. In the month of April, he's making 40000 That's five figures. $40,000. He wants to make it seem like he's not making this money from apes. And who is he making it from? Oh, I'm making it from YouTube, ad revenue, wrong. You're making it from the apes. Because if the apes don't click on your videos, in essence, you don't make money. So you're making it from the apes. So so I'm just trying to understand why, now you may say, why I hate this guy? Because he's not a real ape. He doesn't own any AMC. He's doing this as a, as a scam. You understand? This is a scam for him to make money. And ultimately, I mean, I just feel that's wrong. I, you know, all he does is lie. I have secret connections. I, you know, I, I'm getting tips from hedge funds that are telling me exactly what AMC is going to squeeze. Do you know how many apes he's discouraged over all of this? Forget about it. Forget about it, okay? But the thing is, you keep thinking this guy is like one of you. I'm one of you. I'm one of you. I'm an investor. I'm a retail investor. That fool is a hustler. That's all he is, man. And I guarantee you, if you... if if there was a way to really like actually call that dude out and make him prove himself, that dude would crumble up. Okay, forget about it. Like a pretzel. You know, you can crumble a pretzel. He'd crumble up because he's nothing but a fake. That's it. He's a fake. He knows it. But right now he's laughing at all of us to the bank because he is making a tremendous amount of money and he doesn't deserve it because he's a fake. He's not an ape. He even admitted it himself. You know the times that guy said it? I'm not an ape. He's embarrassed to be an ape. He, he even said AMC he said the business model is terrible. Okay. He's against everybody with AMC. All right. So listen, I don't want to say anymore. That's all I have to say about it.